show is yours. Take us away and lead us on this journey today. All right. Hi, guys. Thank you for coming and thanks for having me on. I really appreciate it. So a little bit for those who don't know me, um, my name is Vanessa and I live in Northern Illinois. I am a hunter jumper trainer. Um, I've owned my first facility for um, 16 years now. Um, so horses have pretty much been my life. Uh, I joined Summit mid-November, um, but really started working the business in December. Um, and the horses in my barn have been on it uh, I would say about four months now. Um, so, you know, I'm the type that just jumped right in. I trusted my friend Rhonda who called me and said, you got to do this. You got to check it out. I was like, all right, let's do this. So, um, and I'm so happy I did because of the 30 plus years I've been um, doing horses, this is legitimately the first supplement that I can feel a difference in my horses. Okay. So there's stuff we use that, uh, people are telling us is doing something, but this is the first thing that I can feel. So obviously I got super excited about it and hit the ground running. Um, so one of the things that, um, people always point out about my personality is that I tend to appear fearless, um, and have confidence. Uh, that is not the case. I have fears just like everybody else. And I can sometimes, um, my confidence can waver a little bit, but what I can tell you is my confidence comes from the sum of my failures. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about that later, but, um, quite fitting today, uh, my Facebook generously reminded me of an incident that happened exactly a year ago today in Walmart and it fits perfectly with what we're talking about today. So I'm shopping in Walmart, I'm going down an aisle and I hear this guy um, pretty animated talking to the stock boy and I wasn't quite sure what was going on. But I listened a little bit and the stock boy, very nice kid. You could tell he was a hard worker. He had his head down doing his job. Um, and this guy was preaching, basically giving the stock boy a pep talk saying, you know, our society really only rewards um, the successes in life. And we never stop to point out all the failures that have brought people to their success, right? So we are very good at pointing out everything good, but nothing good has ever not had something bad to help people get there, right? So here's a fun failure fact about me, say that three times fast. Um, I've been fired from every horse job I've ever had, except for the one that I quit to start my own business. And it wasn't because I was bad at what I did. It wasn't because I wasn't a hard worker. It would just seem to be my journey in life. Now I realize um, that because I was always meant to have my own business and be a little bit more of a leader. But back then, every time I lost a job and got fired, I was devastated, like three days on the couch crying, didn't know what I was going to do. Why is this happening to me? Blah, blah, blah. But every time that happened, I learned something and it gave me a little bit more confidence to go into the future, right? So every failure led me to where I am. And that's why I'm not ashamed to say that fact that I've been fired like eight times in my life. Um, and I've been fired from clients in my own business. So I, you know, it, it's never ending, but with every failure you learn. So stop telling yourself that you can't fail and that failure is not an option because actually failure is an amazing option. It helps you grow. It teaches you. And once you start looking at failure as a positive, the fear disappears. And when you don't have fear, then you can lead from your heart and you can venture and do life and a business like this and be successful. So I'll share with you a little, I'm one of those people that like to 
leave myself little notes and have mantras because again, I, I have my insecure days. I have my not confident days. So one thing that I repeat to myself almost daily and feel free to write this down because it's a good one. Okay. So other people's opinion of me is none of my concern and it shouldn't be your guys's concern either. Because people who have opinions are the negative Nancy's and the people out there who their negative opinions is just a reflection of them. So how does all this fit into Summit and what we're doing, right? Direct sales can be intimidating because we have to put ourselves out there, right? We have to go approach people. And there are a lot of people that haven't even started the process because of fear. And you have to find a way to kind of let that go, right? You guys are all here because you're reps. So that you saw something in the product that motivated you, um, you know, something about the business made you want to jump in and, and do it. Uh, but there are also a lot of you who have jumped in and haven't done anything. Now, whether that's fear or circumstance, I don't know, but I can say, that it probably has a lot to root, it's rooted in what are people gonna think? Are they gonna think I'm just trying to sell them something? Are they thinking that I'm just trying to push something for my gain? Here's the deal. If you guys are trying to sell this product, you're doing it wrong, completely wrong, okay? There is no selling this product. The product will sell itself. Your job, is to spread the word, tell people about the product, get it in their hands so they can try it and they will learn for themselves, okay? So don't let fear stop you from putting yourself out there. You're gonna get people that say no to you. I can't tell you how many times a day I get a no, but what's the big deal about a no? It's not a personal reflection on you. They're not saying, no, Vanessa, we don't like you, so we're not trying it. And you know what? If they were, I wouldn't care anyways, but that's me. Um, so there, it's not a personal thing that they're saying no to you. And for each person that says no, there's five people that are going to say yes. And for each person that says no, there's a testimonial coming in from a customer. Like I got one today, I posted in our group from a trainer that was legitimately crying because she felt her horse's legs colder and he was sounder than he's been in two years after his first dose of Summit. So it's stuff like that that keeps you motivated and gives you the confidence to move on and keep approaching people. Try to swallow that fear if you can. And when you do, you will naturally gain the confidence. So having said that, my parting words to everybody to gain confidence and get rid of the fear is go, do, fail, get up, do it again, fail again, try again, just keep going. Don't let the, the fear of starting stop you before you even get there. Because our goal is to help as many horses and dogs that we can. So that has nothing to do with you, right? That has, this has to do with the animals. And if you remember that, it's so easy because people see your passion and they see your authenticity. But if you're sitting here going, hey, you need to buy this, it's not gonna work, right? It's, hey, you need to see what this can do for your horse. Speak from your heart go fail. It's fun. That's all I got. Well, well, well thank you, Vanessa. And, <clears throat> you know, I think there's, there's some really excellent points that, that you're putting in there. And, and some of the, the takes, takeaways that I've heard, you know, not just from you in conversations that we have had, but also from so many of the other leaders um, is, you know, there are certain fears that some people have when it comes to you know, an MLM format in this kind of business. Um, and one of them right off the bat is like public speaking, right? right. Huge fear for people. Um, do you, what are some of the tools? I know, I know you use Facebook at times for communicating and things. Can you tell us about, 
maybe one of those tools that you use maybe with Facebook that, that has kind of made you put yourself out there um, and, and you know, what, what you've, you've gone through with that and some of the things you've had to overcome with it? Yeah, I mean, social media is a great tool in general. And it's not so much about, um, you know, going on Facebook Lives or going on Instagram and being like, hey, summit, 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 summit. It's more about showing people your life, right? Showing them how passionate you are about horses, showing them how much you love your dogs, showing them about your daily happenings so that they feel like they're part of your life and then they trust you, right? And then they go, oh yeah, Vanessa was talking about that on her Facebook Live. And again, you know, I'm not one of those pers people to take much stock in, in being goofy or looking goofy or wondering what people are gonna think about me. So I'll, you know, just a couple of weeks ago, I hopped on Facebook Live and I was in the cornfield with my son looking for snakes. Like, who wants to watch that? I don't care. I thought it was funny. So there we go. <laughs> That's what we did, you know? But then people got a glimpse into my life with my son, right? In a cornfield. And then they get a sense of who you are and then they trust you more. So Excellent. use social media. 